Hi there Taurus, this video, this horoscope is for November 23rd through November 25th. So welcome to the horoscope, welcome to the reading. Again, Taurus, this could be for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, uh, north node, any of your personal planets, any of your people's chart as well. You can definitely get on with the cross watching here. So stick around and check out some videos stay subscribed thank you for the thumbs up and any comments i'd love to know you know where where taurus is in your guys's placements so the 23rd through the 25th this is mostly the pisces moon coming to the aries moon on the 25th we're in kind of the first quarter uh the waxing gibbous moon and um yeah we're just there's we're, we're trying to work through some things. We're trying to, it looks like we're trying to fix things here, make some alterations, make some adjustments as we go, okay? We know like, okay, we're on the right track, we think, but are we? There's some questions to that, I think. And with some things you are, of course, maybe with others, you know, there is that room for, again, those making of those alterations and those adjustments. So keep an open mind right now. Keep an open mind to things that just keep on coming up in your life. It looks like you are somewhat focused here, you know, on this relationships, the stability, you know, that good love and family and um, getting along with people you know, can really bring to your life. It can really help you with all of your hopes and dreams and desires and everything like that. So, um, you know, there's kind of this sensitivity, sensitive to others, really it's a sensual time, um, craving sensuality and, uh, you know, be open to, you know, those wants, those needs of your own self that we may have been neglecting before. We may have been too proud or too this or that you know, to actually really either receive what we want, what we truly wanted, or to even know, you know, what we truly wanted. And that's a lot of this energy that we have. So on the 23rd, we have the moon trine Mercury. And this is where our, you know, our emotions, like everything's kind of getting along. It's just a easy, you know, um, time. Again, this mental energy is getting along with this deep, um, kind of Pisces side. Um, it's, it's two water signs, basically. The sun and the moon are both in water signs. So, you know, it can be very emotional, but there can be lessons and, you know, conclusions here as well. So the 23rd through the 24th, we have a yod, which is going to further enhance kind of some of this um, energy here. Now we want to watch out because we also have some, we have some T squares on the 24th and the 25th. And, you know, there may be some issues with really being able to express and identify even our needs, our wants, what we're truly wanting, what we're truly wanting to focus on. Um, so just, just be aware of that and be aware that, you know, with the yods, we have our, um, a lot of our, really our life path and our life, what we want out of life is changing. And so, I mean, this is our typical, like, like best things in life, you know, wanting the good things in life and wanting, wanting, you know, having that generous spirit, wanting others to have, you know, a, a good time in life as well. And part of our life path is going to be not only for ourselves to have a good life here, but how we carry ourselves and how we portray ourselves, you know, really being fair and wanting that, you know, for everyone. Okay, so there's kind of, again, a lot of changing in our stances, in our beliefs, in the way that we carry ourselves and identify, you know, with our ego. And like, again, it's, it's the whole, when you change your purpose, you're changing everything. And that's kind of what's going on right now. Yay. So we have on the 24th, also the moon in conjunct Venus. So again, that's part of this. Um, we're not necessarily, we don't know what's going to truly make us happy here. We think doing, oh, this is going to make us happy. This is what makes us happy. No, truly there's something else. We're kind of, there's some confusion in regards to this aspect, honestly, in numerous 
um, positions and aspects that we have going on right now. So you can't ask for what you want. You can't fulfill your needs if you really aren't being true to yourself. And I think in some ways we can be stubborn with our thinking and thinking that we have to carry everything. We have to think the same way about things. And there's a change, again, this changing of our mind, changing of our mind about what we're doing here. Why are you here? I mean, that's the most fundamental basic purpose. And when again, when that changes, everything changes. And it, it will and it is changing your life. It's opening up a lot of opportunities here for you. And again, it's causing you to be more fair and more fair to yourself, if not anybody else. Because I think, you know, there, there's this energy of doing things the hard way because of certain beliefs that you had. And that's the beauty of doing the work, doing the inner healing work, growing as a person, um, doing shadow work, even looking at the holistic law of attraction, really all of it. You can check out my program on all of those topics down in the description box below. But learning these things, learning just steady spiritual growth and wisdom and understanding in this kind of philosophical ideas. And it, that it just it helps you so much. It's helping you left and right. And again, it's helping you re-identify with what you even want in life, like at all. So it's exciting times, really. The 24th and the 25th, we have a, the sun is trying the moon. So again, there's kind of this harmony, the inner and the outer. Um, and then all three days, guys, we've got a lot of this energy here. Um, for all three days, Mercury in conjunct Mars, which has been with us for a while, ending on the 25th. Here we are, you know, going through life and we think things, you know, oh, we're just, oh, this is just how life is now. You know, it's like, no, these are just phases. This impatience, you know, this impulsivity, this wanting to, you know, oh, overdo it, overdo everything. This is finally going to be leaving us on the 25th. So that's good. Try not to overdo it too much until then. Um, just very easy, you know, to go into those uh, earthly, you know, whether it's drinking or eating or just being lazy or, you know, really whatever it is, um, it can, it can manifest in a lot of different ways. So the yachts that we have though, on all three days here, 23rd through the 25th, um, you know, again, it's a, it's an analytical time. It's a, it's a just as we go time with this first quarter wax and get us moon, get these lessons. We are capable of a lot of lessons in a short amount of time learning easily, getting lessons easily. And again, we're changing our life path, getting awareness, uh, understanding, especially in as much as we're willing to go deep into our emotional side. That's what changes our life. It's, uh, you know, learn the holistic law of attraction too. We've been talking about that a lot. And what's coming through a lot, you guys right now lately is pure intentions. Having truly pure intentions is, is bottom line right now. It's so important with where you're going to go and where you're going to be in the days, months, and weeks, and years to come. So if you haven't figured that that piece out yet, you know, that's why we go within. That's why, again, we just keep on realizing we're all in this together. We're not, you're not, in as much as we get competitive and annoyed with people and all of this stuff, you are not, you know, we don't need to have enemies. We need to be fair and just, you know, and again, just to yourself because carrying around burdens, not helpful to you, not helpful to anyone, you know, and, and the more we can raise our vibration overall, let things go here. Let things go that are hurting you, that you're carrying around that you don't need emotional, um, hurts, you know, that have just stuck with you. Um, shadow work and inner child healing. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay. It's a great time for this. And the more we can help, you know, the more, the further we're going to get. And it's just a, such a good time because all these yods have this deep, you know, emotional, mental and um, emotional energy of Scorpio and Mercury. And I mean, just a lot of different things. We have Pluto in there. We have so many different, you know, like I said, three different yods here. So I'm not going to get into it. But if you want a personal reading, let me know. I do personal readings. Um, whatever you want, just let me know. Email me and let me know what's on your mind, guys. And I will talk to you soon. Oh, wanted to mention on the 25th, we do have the moon conjunct Mars. So we can be a little bit, again, emotional and impulsive that day. Um, over identifying with our emotions, letting our emotions rule the way, you know. So just watch out for that a little bit on the 25th as well. So thanks for any likes, shares, subscribes, comments, etc. And I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye.